Greetings all. Thank you so much for all the amazing support on this YouTube channel. I literally cannot thank you enough. I am honestly in awe that so many people are interested and captivated by stories from Mount Everest, including the mystery of Mallory and Irvin, which as many of you know, has taken up a fairly big part of my life. And the probably the best part of the mystery is that in trying to solve the mystery, doing films about Mallory and Irvin, I've met some of my closest friends of my entire life and some of my most enduring, long-lasting relationships other than those in high school and some of my college friends. But it has been an important part of my life primarily because of those friendships and relationships. And it has been peculiar to me, and I talk about this, I think, in just about every video I do. It's been peculiar that so many people find it offensive that there might be a different perspective in terms of, let's just take, for instance, the route that Mallory and Irvin might have taken. Back in 1999, I literally had just gotten an email address. And when I went on that expedition, I got to email once a week, no telephones, no cell phone. I had one satellite phone call home and my 15 month old son had no idea what was going on and he just babbled a little bit. So back then our fingertip access to research and information about Mallory and Irvin was extremely limited, like a letter being written to a family member of the Mallory and Irvin families or some long established known information that was out there in a library. So. As time has gone on, incredible researchers have come forward. Amazing, amazing detectives have come and done so much exhaustive search and research on it, really kind of changing the narrative and the story. And it's beautiful and it's amazing and really kind of enlightening to see just how really easy it is to jump into this mystery. And I love that part about it. It develops a big community of which we're all part. On the topic of which route they took, as I said, in 1999, it was the second step, was really all we talked about. I never even took time to consider that there might have been another route. Now, yes, I knew Mesner went under the ridge and went over and did his route to the summit. Um, and in my recent interview with Jake Norton, you'll see that Mesner looked up into the Norton couloir and said, no way. And uh, that's kind of interesting, but it doesn't mean no. It doesn't mean Mallory and Irvin didn't go up and do that. It, it's the, the Norton Kuwar versus the second step ridge route is just a debate. And if someone tells me that I'm dead wrong for thinking they might have tried the second step, that's cool. But there's really a personal attack kind of tone from a very small percentage, and it really boggles my mind because uh, that's just not how I operate. And so if you'll notice, most of the comments on my videos are of a positive tone. The negative ones that have nothing to contribute other than a criticism, I just delete. I'm not really that interested in stuff like that. I just, I, I don't really feel like it's a very good use of time to debate and take personally this route or that route. I'm open to either. I pray I could be proven wrong. If somebody said, we found out absolutely definitively if Mallory and Irvin made it to the summit and they took the Norton Kuwar route, I would be overjoyed. Not like, I always thought it was the second step. Like, no, I would be so happy. I want to be proven wrong. Nietzsche said, Great thing to read. Read some Nietzsche someday. Maybe the, especially the naysayers. He didn't like hanging out with people who weren't willing to reconsider everything that they ever learned. I love that. That's almost like a motto that I take to heart. And there are people who don't feel that way. And cool, all good. But this is, this is being technically my channel. No place for, the, for the, the, that kind of stodgy, unmovable, unshakable viewpoint. We're all welcome in here as long as there's a civil discourse. I bring it up almost every time 
I believe in free will and I try my best. I do everything in my power not to judge the free will choices of others. And that goes along with people believing 100% that it's different than something that I believe. Awesome. All good. I just want you to know I value your opinion. I'm psyched that you're here. And on another note, lastly, the other reason I was turning this video on, I was going to do this YouTube live, but it's windy outside and hot. I posted a video um, yesterday of, a, of an interview I did with a journalist from Ukraine, and, uh, and it's gotten plenty of likes. But immediately there were some amazing, there was one in particular comment that to me was obtuse and mind-bogglingly thick-headed and I deleted and blocked the user immediately. I won't even tell you what it said, but it was like, holy cow, based in a lot of propaganda. So I put that video to unlisted and made the decision this morning over several cups of coffee with my partner out on the porch as the cat and the dog sat around and we looked at the beautiful weather and birds flew around enjoying the beauty of life, decided that this YouTube channel, the one you're watching this video on right now, is going to be devoted primarily to Everest-related topics, uh, adventure, exploration, maybe film and documentary related to Everest or adventure, like the Sanctity of Space episode that I put up last week. And my interviews with journalists from Ukraine will go over to my other YouTube channel, which is a very small channel. It's called Eyes Open Productions. That's my company. Uh, I have some music videos there. One music video has like 80, 90,000 views to it. It's one that I filmed, which is pretty cool. I'll put a link to that in this video. But I just wanted to let you know, I respect your opinions. There might be people watching this video right now with the double birds up to the screen. Screw you. Here's the deal. I don't really know you. You don't really know me. I'm into really cooperative discourse. I have a respect for everybody, no matter what their opinion is. And if they're vitally different than mine and disagreements can't be worked out, then I just go in a different direction. Let's be here together in a community, work together, love, and find the love in our hearts. This is, we're all in this together, man. And then someday we're all going to be dead. And what does some stupid little debate on what route they took matter in the long run? Zippo. We love our mom. We love our dad. We love our brother and sister, our dog, our cat. We're pretty much all the same human beings. Stay together, keep reaching out to me, keep commenting, share these videos. I endeavor to bring you as much as I can on this topic. I've already got two other really cool interviews, one about the viability of what it would be like to try to develop the film if the camera was found up at high altitude, and another with someone who goes back into one of the sources for Mark Sinnott uh, that I covered recently about Irvin and the camera having been found at high altitude back in 1975 and or 1960. Other than that, thank you all. You guys are awesome. Um, reach out often and I will be doing a live event soon. Peace out. Be well. Have a beautiful day and uh, peace and love, as Ringo Starr says. <laughs>